there and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 4. Today we're continuing on Let's Play. This is episode 8. In today's episode we're taking a look at the BMW 2002 Turbo Spec Series. For that we need a BMW 2002 Turbo, which we have in the garage. And it's been pre upgraded by Forza, which means it's probably going to handle like anus, but we'll continue on regardless. BMW 2002 Turbo Spec Series. A spec series featuring BMW's first ever turbo production car, the 2002 Turbo. Five laps of Hockenheim Short. For this legend. Ooh. A new track to the series, although you've already seen it because it was in one of the championships races. Well, and you didn't see that with Seacon's breaking. Well, they Cooking. might not have done if they didn't watch all the full things of those, which I can't really blame them. I don't think anyone, I don't think anyone will. Mm. Well, I say that. There'll be like four people who do. Oh yeah, probably. Which is a surprisingly large amount of your viewership. Also, base. A spec series. Prefer, prepare to see Hockenheim short a lot. Yes. Oh. A lot. <laughs> How short is Hockenheim short? Um, not, well, sort of short. It's a good track. Yeah. It's just the bit Oh my god, the BMW 2002 still. comes in more col colours than just silver according to this game. Yes, it comes in green. Isn't that an orange? I swear I've seen one. Well, the game only gives you the option of buying one in white or silver, but the AI have like a million different colored ones in here. Was, uh... That's just because the AI have a signature color. No! They can. Thanks, Evans. You're, You're the best. Listen to the sound of that rorty four cylinder? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Why probably. was it called the 2002? Because it probably has a displacement of 2002. Let's go and look this up. Actually, I think it's a 2 litre, but it's a second. By the time you've done that, we'll be like 75% through the episode. No, because well, it was... Really quickly. If I remember, there was a car called the BMW 1601. So I assume, yeah, I think it refers no, right. to the second iteration. It's part of the uh, BMW 02 series. Yeah. Wow. Because there's Cause... the 1602 in this. And it's got a 2 litre, so... Yeah. That makes sense. And they Two put a liter. turbo on it because they're German. Oh, and uh, it's got a KK and K turbocharger. <laughs> I like how you put the and in there. It's, I was just reading off the Wikipedia page. Oh, I like how they put the and in there because technically yeah. it's actually, it is literally it's just, just KKK turbocharger. There's no actual yeah. and in there, but you know. I like the ADRS2 uh, Wikipedia page because it says that Porsche took the KKK out of the. <laughs> I mean, they did need to do that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a vital part of selling. Co also, that's the greatest corner cut in Forza history. Probably. It's like one of the only ones you can get away with because the sticky grass actually helps you in that case. Yeah. That You're talking about the first corner, aren't you? Yes, because this was back Good. when Forza had sticky grass. Which was a surprisingly good addition. No, it wasn't. No. Yeah, what? That no, one, it wasn't. Sh that one chicane on, what is it, Sonoma. Sonoma? Yes. That track can go kill itself purely for that That's one That's just because it's Sonoma, though. Sonoma is shit no matter what you do to it. Can you tell this car hasn't got upgraded suspension, by the way? Can you tell... In case people have been wondering why... In that first episode, I said I don't like the way Forza upgrades cars. This is exactly why I don't like the way Forza upgrades cars, because they focus on all the wrong things. They're basically trying to get a widespread on everything and miss every single target at the same time. Yeah. So they create cars that aren't actually all that fast, but they also handle horrifically because they essentially upgrade the tyre sizes slightly and they don't do any That's... work to the suspension or differential in any way. Oh yeah, no, they, they, yeah. And in these early games, differentials are very important to mm -hmm. make cars drive. So ah. is suspension in this case. Yes. Yeah, the suspension and the brakes as well on this car are not particularly great. I mean, it's good fun for drifting, I guess, but beyond that... Yeah, but, yeah, but that's not what you want to do, right? I'm sort of trying to see if I can get a full... Um, Mark Drift going them. I don't think I'm going to be able to because I don't think the car's quick enough to pull it off, but. No. I'm trying to see if I can pull it off. I'm going to pull it off at some point. I don't know how much. 
Now it's like my secret goal for all the rear wheel drive cars. The first one to get a full mark drift out of it gets my seal of approval. This is the best what? drift car in the fours in history. I mean, there is there was drift car in for the other than FH4. There was a silv there was the Sylvia um S fourteen. No no it was a fifteen. No we need to the bring the D1 top secret thing. Oh yeah. I used it for drag racing in Forza 3 because it's not in this game. E for drag. Or rather it is in this game, but Unicorn cars exist. It's in this game but you can't have it. Yes, it's in this game but no one can have it now. Just like the Super OS 204. Because this is That's why I don't this or is the fuck days I'm before getting. turn ten quality of life to improve games. Yeah, that's what I don't get. Once like they stop supporting a game, why don't they just make They do now. Hence Excellent. why Forza 7 had that um, thing to unlock every car. And also Horizon 4 is probably going to do a similar thing. I'd imagine anyway. Horizon 3 sort of did. I mean, didn't they give you like every freaking thing at the end? Or something like that? Uh, Horizon 3 basically you just got like a bunch of challenges. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, like, is it somewhat easy challenges that to give you the card? Well, it's the, 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 the challenges are for the barn finds, so. Horizon 4, I think, might start so I know the Super is coming in via being sold in the auto show, which is weird. Well, no, that'd be great. Considering they've only done that once, and that was with the Ranger Raptor. And the... Yeah, I, I, I mean, I mean, I think that if they if they fucking lock the super behind something, people are going to get so mad. They are going, they, they know they can do that. Imagine if they locked it behind the world's most aged fucking oh god, uh, fucking playground games. Loot or was box. that like say, any playground games? Loot box. Uh, oh god, if if they if they if they fucking Will press spins. Yeah. random chance loot box with like fifty bits of clothing in it. Wheel yeah. spin only. Wheel, wheel spin and exclusive. If you, no, 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 but if you no, get no. the same item again, it doesn't disappear from the spin, you just get the equivalent money for it. <laughs> yes. But the equivalent money is what it would cost in real life, so you get your fucking leather cap and it's like £5.70. Leather <laughs> cap? Yeah, I've yeah. got like loads of I didn't of know you were the villain from the Kingsman I think films. I... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, which Kingsman? The first one. Okay, There's a bunch of like leather. The good one. Yeah. Yeah, I I watched the first Kingsman film like on the weekend with my dad. It's good. It's good great. Film. Second one's not as good. <laughs> I didn't I didn't watch any of them. Although the second one does have Elton John killing people, so I guess that's a bonus. Yeah, it's just like real life. <laughs> I don't know. It also has Country Roads before Fallout 76 turned into a meme, so it kind of ruins the emotional impact that bits about it's supposed <laughs> to have. But, yeah, but yeah, I, I didn't watch any of the Kingsman movie, did I miss something? Watch the first one. Almost yeah, heaven. the first one good. Todd you Howard. owe it to yourself to watch the first one. Yeah, it's got uh, Samuel uh, Jackson in it. Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sold. Yeah, exactly. That's how you sell anyone on a film. Samuel Jackson and a Swedish princess. What? I mean, I'm, me and my dad lost it at that bit, you know, where she's... Uh, <laughs> Like, if you save the world, we... Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's an amazing Ooh. bit. Also, it's time for a prize car, everyone. I need to bring <gasps> up my list of prize cars to figure out which one I'm supposed to get. It's the modern sports sedan. You have a choice of the 2009 Lexus ISF, 2010 Audi S4, 2010 Mercedes-Benz C63 AMG, and 2009 Holden HSV W427. We're going for the Audi S4, according uh. to the list I've got in front of me. So... It comes in yellow, though. That's a bonus. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, and that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we're going to be taking a look at the Toyota Yaris S Spec Series. Join us for that. Until then, farewell. You Slitter your father